This can't be happening. I'm in shock now. Tyson was just ready to agree to let someone die so we could live and seemed so fine with it. As for me though, the guilt was already making itself known by the sickening feeling of my gut. Just beyond where I sat was the forest where Dom had disappeared. Watching the forest, I half expected someone to be lingering there, watching or waiting for us to make a move. There was no one. I assumed I was out there alone for a few moments. I, for a few mo I assumed I was out there alone, and for a few moments I was. Sad Dean, not Dean, Dave. I don't know why. Whatever. I watched as Roswell stumbled from the back door, almost in a daze, towards me, then dropped to sit down. He said nothing at first, staring instead at a spot on the ground someplace far away. I wondered if he even knew where he was. A semicolon. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, wowzer. <laughs> so much going on here in this text. Just usually, a, just usually a semicolon is just very much a part of your writing style or not. So I'm just, it's very, it's very interesting to suddenly hit one. I think I know why you're troubled. All of our friends are fucking moron. Yeah, that would do it. Huh? He didn't turn to look at me, instead seemingly more distracted by breathing and staying upright. Tomorrow, when Dom comes for Benson. You heard the others talking? Thanatos. He told you? Again, it seemed as though Roswell was distracted by something, but the longer he sat there, staring off, I wondered if he knew where he was. Roswell? What? Dave, tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be bad. You know? It's not really rocket science, Roswell. Benson, if he doesn't die, you'll... we'll... everything... Roswell. Everything will stop. Everything has to stop. Everything... Roswell made to stand up, but instead fell over limp, leaving me stunned after his rambling. I thought he was unconscious. But when I went to move him, I could feel him burning up. His face was scrunched up, he was breathing hard, but he seemed out cold otherwise. Hey! Wake up! As I gently shook Roswell, I caught sight of Thanto standing by the back door. He just passed out. Thanatos wandered closer, looking towards Roswell before looking up at me, once he'd reached where I was sitting. Did he say anything? Just that tomorrow is going to be bad. That if Benson doesn't die, we'll... Uh... Ah... Uh. You know what he was talking about? Oh yeah, just give me a sec. As I held Roswell, Thanatos climbed up Roswell's front and lightly kicked his nose. Yep, he's unconscious. I could have told you that. We need to get help, right? He was meant to be inside, but... No time for that. Got something more pressing. Just leave him there. What's that? I... Oh, you know. Stuff. I... No? Internally, I swore. I would have done so externally if I... If I hadn't just been knocked out again. Or at the very Wait, least... He got he got yeah, he, knocked out. He did. And a, then he got him again. 
he got so he got knocked out and then while he was knocked out internally he swore even though when you're knocked out you generally don't have like a conscious thought that is cogent with what just happened yeah i guess it's that he uh it's that he has a moment to realize what's happening every time that thanatos does the thing on him that knocks him out with the yeah. sound uh but the tenses of the sentences imply that he's literally already unconscious usually which is not yeah. quite bleh. or at the very least i was sure that's that's what had happened from the familiar stabbing pain in my head that preceded the darkness i don't There's a thing in the narrative where very consistent things happen on a regular basis and everyone understands what these feelings are and stuff is just intuitive and you can just say what they are. But then the game then spends three times as much text then explaining the deduction behind how the guy came to the conclusion that the thing happened. And it's like, you can just tell us he did it again. It's fine. We understand. In fact, yeah. at this point, you could just give it a distinctive automatopoeia and just play that noise, uh, like write that out. And we're like, oh, here it goes again. Smash cut to him being out again. But instead, it's like, it's this part where someone has to then write to say another sentence deducing the evidence, even though we or we get it already and everyone gets it already yeah. and no one needs to have it explained. And this is how, like... Not only the the internal monologue, but every character talks about everything. So it's why they ha it leads to them all having the same voice is the part where they keep having to over explain everything that everyone already understands. And I don't mean that on like the grander scale of like over analyzing the discussion of about sacrificing people and all the repetitive conversations, but just the minute details uh, line to line where people often just have a bonus sentence that re explains the thing by explain their deduction and half the time the deduction contradicts the emotion of the thing they were expressing to begin with and they become this weirdly cold yeah. analytical character that over explains the thing and like it's like I just ah my, I, my, my hand the coffee's too hot or at least that's what I yeah. think from the fact that it, my hand is burning and it hurt and, <laughs> and it's like what the fuck stop talking why yeah this is such a simple <laughs> visceral thing you're expressing and then you talk too much <laughs> Like I talked about this in the fact because I, I think this happened in the werewolf uh, in the werewolf scene where it's like oh fuck there's a, there's a werewolf scenes happening so, uh, Orlando's eviscerated and or, and Ty is here and uh, Ty did it and, and then t then Ty gets shot by uh, by Benson and so, so it should be all like upsetting and fast and everyone understands what's happening because it's not that complicated but also like any confusion is also like fair because like it should be kind of disorienting how fast this is happening but then even in that scene dave's internal monologue stops to like explain like but actually i deduced that the blood was on the floor because my feet were sticky and it was warm and i'm like what the fuck stop stop you're destroying it and that just that's there's the whole game is full of lines that need to be deleted that are like that and Maybe yeah. I, I hope that happens in a revision. Like I hope that kind of moment happens because I know it's not getting a rewrite, but you can just if you are going through it all again to to proofread, that's definitely a thing to just watch for and delete everywhere. It almost never yeah. f improves the the paragraph it's in. Completely. The other giveaway was that I tried calling out, but no sound came out. Instead, I just had to wait and float there until I became, God damn it, he's still thinking of. <laughs> I... He's still deducing <laughs> the fact that he was knocked out. Uh... <laughs> this is such a, a zero escape me and Andrew in other words moment where I, I point out a criticism about the writing and then it does it even harder right after I press A, <laughs> which I think happened I just... last episode too. I was like, wow, yeah. Dave just sits here and contrarians everybody instead of having any useful input. And, and it goes beyond being a character trait to being just like frustrating and confusing writing. And then the next line was like, but if you do the thing that I said that you should do because I said to not to do the thing that said to do, then the thing that I said the first time will happen. I'm like, oh, my God, Dave. I'm thinking about <laughs> this and I know I've been mean about Dave this whole time. But like, I'm really thinking about it. And I it it kind of is just occurring to me. That in any other story, Dave would fully be a side character that just like 
just whines he's and naysays the, everything. He's one of the yeah. fairy, he's one of the two fairies in uh, Majora's Mask. <laughs> yeah, well, like Dave, Dave is like the the emotionally broken younger sister character that like the big hero who takes action has to protect, who has you know the panic attack or the the depression or whatever you know mental health concern that you want to signpost about. Uh, she, he's that character who's like, no, we can't go into the dark maw of darkness because if we do that, something bad will happen. (laughs) And then the main character goes like, but if we do nothing, nothing will change. We have to save our destinies. You know, like you have to do that. But Dave is that character. The thing is, he's the main character of this story. Whereas in any, literally any other story, The main character would be Tyson. (laughs) Tyson is the main character of the story. And I'm sitting here just thinking about how much better this game would be if Tyson was just the main character. You know what I mean? This is insanity. It it turns out we actually do need to gatekeep who can be a protagonist of a story. Yeah. Like, there are actually personality types that just can't work because they just won't do anything. It's just... I'm losing my mind a little bit. All right. Ugh. It's something else. It's it's bonkers. Sorry everyone. I was uh, I was ready to burst I was ready to burst the story and have momentum, but I was so broken by that internal monologue. I was flat on my back staring at the sky. Rolling over, I looked around but couldn't see Roswell or Thanatos. What are you doing? Blame the rat. Uh Ty, I need a favor. What's the favor? Let me across the face quickly. I'm not doing that. The text is already doing that to me. <laughs> Fine. The moment I felt my hand impact my cheek, things went black again. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> he can, wait. He can express agency in these dreams and exit them? I thought it was always like a, I'm remote piloting this body and or I'm stuck in this thing that's moving on its own. It must have been another memory rather than the real thing. Just as well. But I probably shouldn't slap myself so hard to check. I thought he couldn't control these dreams. I thought he was explicitly a bystander in his own body during these and having to sit through them that way. Because he's saying that he did it himself. So it wasn't just that he hypothetically... He didn't just like happen to slap himself already in the dream. Ugh... Once again, I found myself flat on my back, and immediately I started to raise my hand toward my face. What are you doing? About to slap myself again? Okay, you do that. Something to drag your ass back inside like Roswell had to be. I froze, my hand barely against my face. You just carried Roswell back inside? Sal did. And you were about to carry me back inside? Yes, Dave, that's what words mean. Pretty much. Didn't know how long you were both out here, because no one saw you from the back door. All I really know is that when Roswell wasn't where we left him. Huh. Okay. So why were you unconscious? Blame the rat. Did he do something to you? Yeah. Made me black out again, but I don't really know why. Well, whatever he did was messing with Roswell, something fierce. Oh no. Roswell was like that before I blacked out. Almost foaming at the mouth? The fuck happened? Wait, no, go back. He was foaming at the mouth? Looked like it. He was thrashing about a bit next to you. Like he was having some serious bad dream or something. Huh. And I was just... there? You were groaning and frowning and junk, but... nowhere near as bad as he was. Where is he now? Where's Thanatos? Roswell's back where you put him originally, I think. No idea on the rat. Didn't realize he came outside, but he moved pretty quick after I told him we're on board with drugging Benson. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it seemed Roswell was on board with that too. Say something? Just that if Benson doesn't die tomorrow, then we're screwed, or that it's going to be bad regardless? Well, shit, but sorry to say that we're just going to have to live with it. Literally, I guess, yeah. Assuming that it even means we get to. 
I hate to say it, but yeah, we don't have a choice. Ty finally offered out a hand and helped me to my feet, stepping back as I dusted myself off. It's normal to just feel absolutely horrible about this, right? I sure as hell don't feel great about it, but I'm not about to choose to die if I get a say. But at the cost of someone else's life, when they don't get to choose? None of us like it, Dave. It's a shit situation we're in, but what choice do we have? And then what? You're going to follow Dom into the forest? Oh my god, this is the seventh time we're having this conversation. Either me or Dave, like yeah. Please, don't. You don't trust me? I don't want you to die. Oh my god, we had this conversation already. I'm not going to die. You don't know that. I promise. I punched him. Not hard. Not anywhere, anywhere tender, but just enough. And suddenly that, it caught him off guard. You can't promise that. You don't know. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. We might not get home. We might not survive, so just... Just don't go promising that you'll be okay if you leave. It'll hurt worse if you break it. He's a little eight-year-old in an anime. <laughs> I've heard this exact conversation from, like, a child. He went to speak a couple of times before just backing down, taking a step back. You two doing all right? Dean looked between us, and we kept our eyes on the ground. Ugh. Did something happen? Dean, don't go into the woods tomorrow. What? Dave doesn't want either of us to go into the woods. But if no one goes, how are we meant to get off the mountain? It's not like he's going to show us the way while he's lugging Benson along, is he? Well, no, but... And if we're in that much danger... He gets it. It's just a shit situation. That's one way of putting it. We also have additional problems. Such as? Roswell. He's in no state to move unless carried, and depending on the route we need to take, might be a bit problematic. We can't just abandon him either. I agree. Sal. So. Yes, Dean? You volunteering to stay with Roswell while the rest of us bail? I... Well, I like how we came up with this like really sick and useful plan to like make Roswell uh, follow them. And then now literally five minutes after coming up with that plan. And I'm not saying that plan was actually good. That plan was dog shit. But the fact that they decided now, you know what? Actually, this isn't going to be the plan that we do is like purely comedic to me. Well, they also already had another whole plan, and then they're also shifting away from that one, too. You feel bad about leaving him behind while the rest of us try to get off the mountain. It means you're willing to stay, yeah? We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We won't know the exit immediately, so maybe Roswell's condition will improve. I looked between each of them in turn, but they all had their heads hung, not wanting to offer anything in response. Right? I should go and check on Orlando and Hoss. Last I heard, they were still worried about the decision. We'll have to come to one too, right? Yeah, Dean and I are going to talk it out while you fill in the others. Dave, go with Sal. Better you're not here for this. Correct. But it's all right. We'll fill you in later. They should just leave now, <laughs> just while he's not looking. <laughs> just make the star story happen two days sooner. Sal took me by the hand and we wandered back inside. I gripped his hand tight as, we, as he led me forward. Something about how he had his hand in mine made me feel a little better, but it wasn't enough to rid me of my worries. Hmm. How are you two holding up? Orlando was in the middle of preparing a snack. Haas had a cup of tea, but his hands were shaking. Not great.
I don't know how Thanatos expects us to choose. I wouldn't worry about choosing. Not anymore. What do you mean? Tyson's told Thanatos that we're going with his plan. Benson will be sedated and, uh... Don't you dare finish that sentence. Someone remind me to chew Tyson out for deciding for the group. In his defense, Dean and I are also of the mind that we're here without a choice. Seriously? You're just fine with us giving Benson over to my dad? Oh my god, we're having this conversation for the eighth time. Keep a tally. If the alternative is dying for being in the way. I don't like this. What? It's astute, Hoss. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> no one likes this. What the fuck? What are we meant to do, Hoss? I don't know, but this feels wrong. When Roswell wakes up, I want to know what he thinks. I can't Why? believe. I can't Why believe. Why do they need to keep talking? Why? <laughs> oh my god. Oh I my god, they're gonna. I, I just. Planning dinner at a furry convention is easier than this. Yeah. It's unfathomable. Like, I am. The absolute nightmare that is trying to get eight people on the same page at a furry convention on Discord when everyone, half the people are suiting is easier than this. <laughs> He was I conscious for a little bit, but, stupid. um... Don't, just don't. So that's it then? We all just... No discussion? No nothing? We've done nothing but discussion non-stop, Orlando, for hours! It's literally the entire plot of today. And some of yesterday, I think. Didn't this start on the 21st? It's all we've been talking about. It's the only plot point. Nothing else is happening in the story besides discussing this. Aside from the morality of what we've decided, is there going to be anything else to talk about? We're not, uh, we're all not liking which way this is going anyway. Or, but, beh but beyond that. This sucks. I'm sorry to say, it gets worse. Roswell, he's getting worse. And right now, I wouldn't think he's in any condition to go anywhere. Carried, maybe, but... Depending on the way out, we might not be able to take him. That... I don't like that. Cool. Wow, dude, you're in a life or death situation. There's gonna be things you don't like. Who would have thought? I understand the concept that human beings are unreasonable in stressful situations, and are and there's a whole process to accepting the thing that has to be done, and so on. But we don't have to hear it all in real time. <laughs> we don't need to hear the entire, every stage of grief from front to back continually for hours. Like you can, you can abridge this at some point. Yeah. And I'm I just I'm increasingly tempted to start mashing the A button to just skip the tutorial. When it yeah. Yeah. If someone has to stay, it should be uh who? Orlando fidgeted briefly on the spot before sighing. Me. Cool, let's start this conversation now. Maybe oh if I'm lucky, God. I'll be able to escape anything bad. At least for a while. This is literally the conversation that Orlando had. Or not Orlando had, that, um... What's his name had? Roswell had. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the conversation. <laughs> it, like, it vaguely can make sense because he's related to the villain. So it's, it's like, worth bringing up at some point. But 
the fact that the story keep the conversation keeps moving on to another scene starting over and then coming back to the conversation and then a new person brings up a thing I'm like this could have all gone this could have all come up in the same conversation when we first brought up this discussion and it could have been handled in like 20 minutes and all of the same information would be conveyed all the same people would have gone through their emotional struggles people would have proposed all the different angles of who would would do would and would not do each part and it's just it's it feels like explicitly like they like there was this the sense that this is the only thing that, that they that they have to write about for day 22 is just this one discussion and they also yeah. for some reason need day 22 to be x number of scenes and words long so they just keep discussing one thing all day instead of just having it be a shorter day and like they've done it once before when he uh when we got attacked by Jack, it skipped a whole day of us being like in almost entirely sleeping. So you can't. You, so he's not completely unwilling to kind of skip forward, but yeah, damn. <laughs> Just let the day be shorter if you don't have any more writing to do. It's fine. Wait, if we're using that as reasoning, then it should be me. I mean, no progress. It we're should be you, still surely, surely my favorite person. character in Password. <laughs> Why you? Why you? I feel like if we're planning on bargaining like that, Memphis is the least likely to want to kill me. Okay, so I think he, I have he to... is trying to recruit Sal, right? That's what's happening. Maybe I really don't know. I was trying to. I really remember. don't have any idea. I think it was mentioned once, and yeah, if anything, he should. He should let himself be recruited, that he could be useful to us, if that happened. Yeah. If I have to play pretend for a bit in order for my friends to have the best chance of survival, I will. But you won't be playing pretend, or at least Dad won't accept you just playing along. So where does that leave us? He looked between each other. We looked between each other with Orlando rubbing his face and groaning. I'll stay. If someone absolutely needs to stay, I'll do it. Hopefully Roswell can just come with us then. So we don't have to, you know. So we don't have to, you know. I wandered over to the pantry to check our food with a frown. What are you looking for? Something sweet. I don't want to think about this anymore. I want ice cream. I don't want the blue shoe leather. I want ice cream. It's happening. <laughs> the thing you said yeah, is happening. I know. I know. It's stupid. I hate it. You can't go eating your problems away. Not that it's really relevant to what you're discussing, but if I, I had a question about Thanatos. What was the question? Where did he disappear to after Tyson went uh, to deliver our final decision? Oh, that. You're backwards. You're better off All asking. The voices. Oh, oops. The last one oh, was Haas. that. I don't know. You're better off asking Tyson. He's outside with Dean at the moment. Fair enough. I'll make the most of it and let him know how I feel about him speaking on all uh speaking for all of us without checking. Speaking who's speaking for all of us? We've had this discussion with everyone several times. It's also speaking for himself. He's going to make the choice. He's going to risk himself. I don't oh, fucking I was about to answer Ross's <laughs> question and watching him walk away before the words left my mouth. Tyson was likely going to fill him in anyway, but I'd like just be quicker if I could have saved him some hassle. Dave, step away from the pantry. If you want something that bad, I'll make you something. I don't know what I want. Maybe I just sleep a day away so I don't have to put up with anything between now and when it happens. Please, I'm begging you, do that. Dave. You can't go sleeping either. I can. It's easy. <laughs> you don't look all that tired, so maybe it's best to just try not to think about it. This is the one day ever where Dave doesn't look tired.
Orlando and I will make sure some pump make you some pumpkin bread. It's better to keep busy and fed rather than sit there and do nothing. Uh, I'll manage fine on my own. It was a slow process, slower than I knew was normal, but it gave us something to do. Sal supervised, Orlando baked, and I cradled cup after cup of coffee until he was done. Tyson and Dean resurfaced at some point, seemingly come to an agreement that they didn't want to share. But all that did was prompt me back to the pantry, and with it, another round of baking fresh pumpkin bread. What? <laughs> they reset and did it again? <laughs> because Just because Dave got sad again again? So they literally re <laughs> made an entire another set of pumpkin bread? <laughs> At least we didn't have to sit through it, I guess. It's funny that even in the narration, they have incredibly repetitive scenes. Haas returned after some time and said he'd go. He'd had no luck fighting Thanatos either, and Roswell seemed to be in just as much of a state as when Sal put him down. He's dead! At some point, I had found my, <laughs> myself so full that I felt sick, and with that came Ty's arm around me. At least until Sal put an arm around us both, and Ty backed off in favor of letting Sal deal with me. <laughs> Remember to breathe, Dave. He'd been saying it for, for the past half an hour. Every time he'd picked up on starting to tremble from the stress, on me starting to tremble. Yeah. I'm sorry. He closed the door softly behind him and wandered over, turning me around and hugging me gently. Don't be sorry. I'm just worried. And that's not something I'm to be sorry for? Not when what you're worrying about is perfectly reasonable. I... Yeah. May I be honest about something? Of course. What's wrong? I'm terrified. For whatever tomorrow will bring, I keep thinking of the worst case scenario. And even with that, you offered to stay behind with Roswell? It's the right thing to do. Even if he's... Um... If he's unconscious, imagine what it'd be like in his position. Waking up, finding everyone gone. Or the house taken over by the Mafia. Or the house on fire. Imagine how much more scary that would be for him. Um, this is literally his explicit request. Yeah, his explicit it's... request was, put me in the scary situation, please, so that more of you can live. F this The thing is, is that we made fun of Roswell for, like, artificially creating a ridiculous scenario that would justify him being, like, left behind. But the thing is... That scenario is both realistic and literally going to happen. So at a certain point, you just kind of have to go like, yeah, well, maybe he was right. Yeah. And this is just silly. Like, this is just, it's getting to the point where it's absurd that he's putting up an argument against this. It's not an unreasonable plot point. It's just, it felt unreasonable when he brought it up because it was unmotivated. Yes. Like, they yes. did not, they, they failed to actually have Roswell bring that up, be informed by a thing that happened in any way. Like, he wasn't yeah. even getting worse. <laughs> he literally wasn't yeah. even getting worse. And he'd be like, oh no, the stakes are raising and I'm getting, I'm, I'm, Wilting, you need to not rely on the idea. You need to you need to accept the idea that you might have to leave me behind because I'm I'm falling apart. Like not even that was happening. Like desperately, yeah. that plot point and almost every plot point just needs to be motivated by a scene. Like something has yeah. to actually, but because nothing happens ever, nothing can motivate anything because it, the game just resets everyone hanging around and baking bread and standing around and worrying <laughs> and not ever Sandwiches. ever ever having a single plot point happen. So when they want to have character development or revelations or ultimatums happen, they can't be informed by narrative because no narrative's happening. So yep. fucking after a whole game of mystery and build up, the moment where Roswell says that he's dying and sick and that's the motivation for this entire vacation, which is the thing we predicted, but we were sure it would be like revealed in a scene that made any sense. It was literally just Thantos going like, hey, dumb pig boy, say, say your secret now. I'm saying to do it now. I told you to. So once again, Thanatos is just like controlling Making the entire the plot. plot. He just is the entire yeah. story. He's the only reason anything ever happens, ever. 
period, all the time, to the point where the obvious character beat the game's been telegraphing all game that should happen for a good reason, instead it's just that I'm just saying, just say it, it's time to say it. The, 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 my outline, when I wrote the outline for this game, says day 20, Roswell says it, so I'm just gonna have <laughs> Thanatos say, say it now, as like the yes and piggyback bonus plot point in a scene that was already doing something else. So like, oh, I might as well do it now. Yeah. That's, that's the logic. It's just that, it's, that's brutal. That's not how anything should work. Oh no. I could see him shudder, the shake starting from the top of his head and trailing down to the very tip of his tail. If he was coming with us already, you could say in the moment for us to leave him behind or not. It... If he was coming with us already and could say in the moment for us to leave him behind or not, it'd be different. That's all. No, buddy. The thing is, he already that's, said <laughs> that's what he said. He saw this exact scenario coming, which was weird because because it wasn't motivated by actual scenes. It was just him like knowing what was going to happen later in the plot instead of. Yeah, but like he did say this. He made this choice already. Yeah, the end. <laughs> But because he's unconscious, I like how we're having the same dilemma twice in the same the yeah. time, at the same time. Sal wandered past me and collapsed in the bed, facing his hands. It's bad enough that he's already dying to spend his final moments worried about this as well. Just unfair. No, but the thing is, is he already said that this is what we should do and that he wouldn't be worried if he did that. Yeah, he's already got his, his stuff in order. I'm, I'm struggling. No, I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling. I'm having a rough time. <laughs> Not that it'd be any fairer for any of us, but you understand. I do, but can I be honest about something too? Of course. That thing with Benson. They were going to just hand him over? That doesn't sit right with me. Understandable. But everyone else just... Well, I mean, I guess Haas and Orlando aren't fine with it, but... I'm not happy about it either. Okay, let everyone... Let's... We'll just... We'll, we'll, I've drafted the Declaration of Discontent. Everyone sign it. Cool. We all understand we're not happy about this. We can stop saying it more. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same page. The thing that's even more frustrating is that... You know, I think you've mentioned this before where it's like the game can't account, it isn't accounting for what route we're on or like we're having conversations with at any given. So it, it, it can't just instantly know, uh, it, it, it's, it, it can't know who has said what to who. So it's like, it is, there, there is a moment here where it feels like every single character is voicing their discontent at the same time to each other, but because the game doesn't know which scenes we've seen, it's also just having them voice their discontent. Like, it, there's like overlap in a way where it's like, yes, I we know, know Haas doesn't like this. He said that he didn't like it to Dean, and now he's saying that he didn't like it to us, even though we were present in the scene with Dean. So why? Like, what's, At this point, what's going would, on here? I would here? sincerely just have to grasp so hard to even try to parse why this is happening to us. Like, I... Yeah. The fact that it just keep, I'm like, okay, thank God it's over. That was that happened. That took way too long. There was way too many versions of the same scene repeating over and over again. And then it's just, oh, you fool, you fool, you thought this was over. You thought that the game you've been playing for two hours today would be done repeating one scene that was the first scene it started with when you started today with the recording session. Just kidding. More of the scene. Several episodes of just this one conversation repeating. That was also the conversation we had when we played this game two weeks ago. We. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I just. I don't know how. It, it takes work to write. I just don't know why. You would, at some point, I'm just like, I don't know why you would keep writing. And I don't mean that like, fuck you, don't make a game. I mean like, as in like, why are you still? Why would you write the same conversation again and again? Yeah, it. You had to spend like hours doing that, and you didn't. I don't. That's the, what's the most confusing to me is I'm like, that's the one of the things that are that that that, that like biases towards more efficient and maybe even too brief of writing is the idea that like it's just it's a lot of work to write so much but instead it's so much work towards writing the same thing over and over again to the point where it feels like a prank 
on me specifically. <laughs> that's, that's, that's rough. Let's see. It's gotten to the point where whenever we, we do a little rant and then look back at the dialogue, I can't remember if we said it or not because it's the same lines we've read said a hundred times. <laughs> we've like read it's a, it. We've, it's read become it. a consistent yeah. problem where I'm like, I actually don't know if we said this or not because how would I know? He started to play with his fingers looking towards the window, eyes glazing over slightly. But it's not just a one-for-one one trade. It's one life for potentially seven. You're yes, the, you're we now know. The Thank you. We've the been line. over this. I sat down next to him and he shifted slightly, hesitating before putting an arm around me. Dave, I can't promise things are going to be okay, but I'll promise that I can try and make them okay. Now every character's going to say this. Dean has, Tyson has, in a slightly different way, uh, uh, Thanatos has. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's so irritating. Come on, let's turn in. It'd be better to try and get sleep what... Get sleep what... Get what sleep we can. Wow, I couldn't read that sentence for some reason. He's dying. I killed him. It is... This game is killing me. This game is slowly, brutally murdering. We each had a shower and then climbed into bed, Sal laying back and me resting across his front. No words were shared, but Sal's claws lightly scratched up and down the length of my back as we tried to our best to get some sleep. At some point, he left his hand on my side, and I knew he was asleep when it fell limply to the bed, and his breathing started to level out and rock me to sleep. <laughs> Writing. <laughs> we just had to make it through tomorrow, as hard as it was going to be. Oh, thank God. It's dead. Evil has vanquished. Day 22 is oh, <laughs> Day 22 is the worst day of this entire game, I think. You it could literally remove it, and nothing would... There it would be literally yeah. zero difference. Nothing happened. Like the dilemma that we're facing was established on day 21. If I remember correctly, that's when we saw that's when it happened. Right. So like day 22 is just he just spun his wheels for an entire day of in of in-game writing and just did yes. nothing like, oops, I woke up on day 23. That was weird. I guess I skipped a day. Depression sucks. Right. I'm a right anyway. Uh, oh, shit. Time for Tom to show up like it just. The plot is just, this is the most explicit ever that the plot just is not ready to carry a month of days <laughs> because it, 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 didn't, it didn't, it just didn't have a day. This, they, this was the day that wasn't, but still was for hours. In my dreams, I was haunted with what was to come once I was finally woke up. Benson was going to sa be sacrificed so we could sac so we could survive, but even then it wasn't a sure thing. We still had to take the risk of following Dom to the exit. Dean or Tyson were going to go in. Roswell was potentially not going to be, be better in time. Nothing about the next 24 hours is shaping up to be promising. Yeah, this is exactly like... This is where you can see the when the update happened. And this is the new update. Because they're re literally recapping the day that you sh no re human player would need recapped. Because it was nothing but recap the entire day. Yeah. I see that narration for what it is. I see what's happening. <laughs>